Hello, welcome to the second part of my BioPlay A9 video. If you haven't seen the part, the first part of this video, I suggest you watch that first. And there will be a link in the description of here to take you straight to that video. If you've seen the video, basically I did mention towards the end of that video that I'll be making another video, a separate video, to talk about the specs, the number of speakers, that makes up the A9 and possibly do a sound test. I mean, I know it took a little bit of time to make this particular video from the first one and that was down to the fact that I did had a couple of issues when I was trying to um, connect the TV to the speaker. I'm going to talk to you in this video as well and show you how I managed to get that fixed. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the spec. So you have one 400 watts class D amplifier for the base unit at the back. You have two 200 watts class D amplifier for the two three inch mid range on the sides you have another two 200 watt class d amplifier for the two one and a half inch full range speakers also on the sides and then you have two 150 inch watt class d amplifier for the two three quarter tweeters so all together we have a total of seven speakers with seven individual amplifiers now you know why there will never be any distortion whatsoever no matter how high you crank these things because they have seven individually amplified speakers Like I said in the beginning of this video, I did have a couple of issues trying to connect my TV to the speaker. I did the, uh, the Bluetooth connection, which worked, but uh, there is a massive lag between the sound coming from this TV and what's coming out of the, the speaker. I also did connection using the line in and again the same problem continued so i was speaking to a guy named steve marriott from sound heavenly if you haven't heard of them i'm going to put a link also for you to check them out they make aftermarket uh, cable connection for bang and olufsen's speakers it might be quite useful for you to look them up in case you're looking especially if you have the older bang and olufsen uh, speakers they're quite useful so he was a good guy he did um, reply my email very quickly so in that conversation I was asking if he's got any um, any cable that can solve this particular problem I sent him the picture of my cable and what I've connected and then he mentioned that I should contact uh, BNO because this delay is from the speaker which is what I probably should have done in the first place to contact them, but I was trying to figure it out myself. So when I did contact Bang & Olufsen via Twitter DM, the aftermarket um, customer, after sale customer service is amazing. You literally send a DM on Twitter and uh, somebody gets back to you within a few hours. Either they do remote, um, control of your system and how they look have a look at what's going on or they can send you steps on how to get that fixed so basically I contacted them and I told them what happened and the problem I'm having and they, they sent me the steps on how to turn that off I didn't know that you can turn off the delay on the speakers so 
So this is how you turn off the lock. Tap anywhere on the app to get into the listening mode. Then you scroll up to product setting. When you get into product setting, you have to tap configure for configuration. You get into configuration, you look for sound. Just second on the button in sound you look for line in you tap into line in and if you scroll up you can see a box a checkbox you can just check disable delay and then click change and that's it that's how you stop the delay and there's so many things you can do within this app as well Go just get out of this particular configuration and show you other things you can do with this. You can change the sound, the listening sound, like there's a party. Again, just tap anywhere on the app to get into this listening mode. In listening mode, you can change the party. That's Part is good where you're playing direct music from the phone or lounge. I use lounge when I'm watching TV. I use la night for when you don't want the bass to be too loud. So maybe at night if you're watching something at night. And even in any of this particular um, mode, you can toggle around using an optimal to change to change how you want it if you want it too loud and if you want it too soft you can just move that wheel around to change all that you can move them up and down then again if you go into equalizer you should be able to see sorry sound setting again you should be able to see um all sort of placement the free placement which is what I use all the time because you can have more or many directional sound when it's in free mode you can also have wall mode or corner mode so there is so much you can do with this app and now we unbox the skinny play cover come in this little black box this is the skinny play cover I show you come in a very nice little black box so basically and that's what's inside the box some little notes I think they're trying to teach you some French in here I don't understand Merci that means thank you in French yes your cover has, was handmade with love in our workshop in multiplayer in southern France what I like so much about this particular packaging is this bit they've got this code here you can scan this code i'm supposing this is going to take you to a video that they've made on how to fit the cover i'm not going to use that because i've practiced over and over again on how to fit this so i think i'm pretty good if i may say so myself and then you have the cover i've opened it before but let me just show you there you have it. This, I think, is very, very light compared to the one that comes with the speaker. I'll show you in a minute. Again, I think it's because my speaker is part of the special edition, the bronze special edition that. B 
be an old maid a while ago they're no longer making them now but i think they still have them in stock maybe not for an a9 but you can get them in uh bill 60 i think i'm not sure but i know a few other speakers they have the gold sorry the bronze edition but not the a9 in stores yeah but now nah, because now the mine is called the cadravat i think it's called cadravat cadravat cover and it's very thick very very thick compared to this this is a light rise proper light which i think makes it easier to fit to be honest because it's quite stretchy but this one can be a bit tough because it's not that the material is not is not stretchy at all i think if you have the white be bang and olive saying um a9 your cover is most likely to be something like this made of lycra as well because i had the white one for a very short time before i changed to this and the cover is quite thin it's quite light like you can literally see through the cover and see all the stains unlike this ones the car driver one the special edition ones they're quite thick so it's a lot difficult to put this on and if you pull so hard you're gonna have some kind of rip I've got some rip there when I was trying to learn how to do this for a thousand times so yeah the skinny play covers are pretty easier to fit and they've done a very good job by putting this there there's a French flag there this basically helps you to know how the image is gonna appear on the speaker when you fit it so basically if you make sure that the French flag is center to the bottom then by the time you fit the, the cover the image is gonna be straight I'll show you in a minute so you put the French flag on the bottom you hold it with your leg Oi, 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 oi. 